boosters. Your noodle is your brain, and together we're going to boost your brain power. I'm Miss Marsha, and I'm glad you're here. Let's go! Are you ready? Great! The first thing we do every day is to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Remember to put your right hand over your heart and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United States of America. Of the United States of America. And to the Republic. And to the Republic. For which it stands. For which it stands. One nation. One nation. Under God. Under God. Indivisible. Indivisible. With liberty. With liberty. And justice. And justice. For all. For all. Wow, that was great. There are some big words in there, aren't there? But what it all means is that this is our country, and this is our flag, and we can all be proud to be Americans. Can you count to ten? I bet you can if you give it a try. Let's do it together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Practice counting every day. Guess what time it is. It's time to sing the alphabet song. Let's sing it together. It'll be fun. A, B, C, D, E, F, 
G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Wonderful! You're a very good singer. But now we're going to pick a special letter of the day. I. start with Be sure to ask an adult before trying any of the projects in the snack time segments. Never eat anything without asking an adult first. Some of the projects in snack time use nuts or nut products. Always ask an adult before trying anything. Knives are sharp. Always have an adult do the cutting. Never, ever go near an oven or any appliance without an adult. Be safe! To make a banana split, you need bananas and your favorite ice cream. First, you split the banana and put it in your bowl. Then, 
You can use any flavor you like. Now, we can decorate. You can put anything you want on it. Like sprinkles, granola, gummy worms, or marshmallows. And now, the best part, you get to eat it. It's delicious and nutritious. Try it! That was fun. I think we should pick another letter. Jellyfish can be found in all oceans of the world, and some types can live in fresh water too. There are many different species, and they can be blue, brown, white, and other colors too. The jellyfish that live in fresh water, like streams and rivers, don't sting. The types that live in the oceans, though, they sting, and it hurts. Jellyfish have stingers on each of the tentacles that trail behind them, sometimes thousands of stingers on each arm. They usually don't attack people, but just brushing up against one can trigger the stingers. If you do get stung, you have to run out of the water super quick and get to a doctor. Jellyfish don't have bodies like ours. They get their air by absorbing the oxygen in the water. They don't have stomachs either. They sting their food and then absorb them too. When there is a lot of food in a certain area of the ocean, jellyfish can come together in large groups called blooms. 
Hundreds of jellyfish will band together to capture and absorb their prey. If you see a jellyfish in the ocean or on the beach, stay away. They may look interesting, but like all wild animals, they should just be left alone. If you look around you in nature, you'll find some amazing things. Now it's time for our friendship lesson. What's the matter, Carl? What's the matter? What, uh, what was that? Oh my goodness, a baseball mitt? Oh my gosh, a, a wig? What, a tape? Carl, what's going on? Hey, oh, oh my goodness, what are you doing? What, what are you looking for? Oh my goodness, what are you looking for? Oh, oh, look at that! Oh, what, what, what? My goodness, Carl! Uh, I can't find it. You can't find what? You just threw out like a zillion things. I can't things. find my notebook. Well, you can't find your notebook because you got so much stuff in your desk. Well, that's obvious. Yeah, well, you, you have too much stuff in your desk and, you, and you're kind of being a pig pen. What? What do you mean a pig pen? It means you got too many things in your desk and you don't know where anything is. Huh. Yeah, well, you got to keep a neat and clean desk. That's what the teacher tells us. And you're not and keeping clean. a neat and clean desk desk, Carl. I mean, you, you were throwing out all this stuff, and I don't even think you needed that in your desk. I had a lot of stuff in my desk. Yeah, you had a lot of stuff in your desk, and you still haven't found what you're looking for. Well, that's because I still have a lot of stuff in my desk. Yeah, well, maybe you should organize your desk. Yeah, I mean, but that's not so easy. Yeah, well, you know what? What? I could help you organize your desk, but then you're going to have to keep it clean. You would help me organize my desk? Yeah, I would help you organize it, but then after that, you've got to keep it clean. You can't stuff everything into your desk, because then you won't know where anything uh, is. Yeah, but that's not so easy for me. Well, it just takes kind of a day-by-day -day thing. Day-by-day? So, yeah, so... So what? I almost broke into song. <laughs> Oh, another song, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so if yeah. you if you keep your pencils in there Put and the paper and there. erasers, but you can't have like you know your baseball mitt and all your other stuff in there because that stuff should stay at home. I've looked in your desk once or twice. Yeah, it's very neat and clean. I noticed that. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to be perfect like me. I mean, it's not easy to be me. But you know what? You can keep a clean desk. And it's very important because when the teacher asks you for a pencil right. or to pull out your red notebook or red notebook. your yellow eraser, yellow you'll eraser. know where it is and you won't have to get so upset. Yeah, you know, uh, it makes sense. Yeah, because if, you, if, you're not, if you're not neat and organized with your desk, then it makes you feel really sad because then when people ask you to do things, you can't do them because you can't find them. Have you ever seen my room at home? Yeah, I have seen your room. Remember you invited me over? I mean, it's kind of a big mess, Carl, but... Yeah, but, it is. But maybe if you could get your desk clean, maybe we could work on your room another time. Yeah? Yeah. Would you help me uh, organize my room at home, too? Well, sure I will if you make an effort to keep your desk clean once we do it. Uh, yeah. Do you think uh, you could do that? Uh, sh yeah. You know what? I'll even stay in for recess and help you organize your desk, because you're a good friend. How about this? What? You stay in for recess, and I'll go to recess for both of us. You can organize my desk, which will make you feel good and me feel good. No, 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 no. That I'll would... get to play recess, which will make me feel good. So, uh... Carl? What? Are you being silly right now? Uh... I guess so. Yeah. So why don't we both go clean your desk? 
Okay. All right, Carl. Now listen. Yeah. All we have to do is take everything out and organize it, and then you'll feel much better. Come on, let's go. Maria? Yeah? There's stuff all over the floor. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. we'll have to organize that tomorrow. Okay. All right, let's go organize your desk. Let's get to work. Yeah. Yeah. Remember this lesson. It would help you be a great friend. Thank you for joining us today at Noodle Boosters. Remember to teach someone what you learned here today. See you next time. Don't forget to smile.